I feel strange being here. Wouldn't you rather be alone with this, uh, uh, Lisa or is it Barbara, this yeah. trip? It's Libby. Libby Hall. Libby Hall? Oh. Sounds like a dorm in a girl's school. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't met her yet. We've only dated a few times. She agreed to go on a cruise with you? She paid for her own cabin. Oh, well. <laughs> Jeff, we're just going to spend some time together, that's all. Then I'll surely be in the way. Dad, you won't be in the way. She's going to love you. Alan! Hi. Libby! Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello, how are you? I want you to meet my dad. Dad, no, this is Libby Hall. Oh, oh pleasure. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Alan didn't tell me you were an artist. You are? Well, this is either an artist portfolio or you have very thin clothes. <laughs> Do you paint? <laughs> Not since high school. I once painted a picture of the principal and I was almost expelled. That bad? I painted it on the side of his car. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Alan. Alan Billingsley. Remember me. Alan Billingsley. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, Listen, why don't you grab a date and join us? Uh, you sure I won't be in the way? Uh, Probably, but it's too late to send you home. <laughs> Let's get you checked in. Thank you. Oh, are you serious about me? Well. You have to take some lessons. It's never too late to start. That's what they said about skiing. So, the very next week, I broke my leg. You like to ski? I like it, but I do it about as well as I pay. <laughs> How about you? No, but I've always wanted to learn. Hey, I'll tell you what. You teach me to paint, and I will teach you to break your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody for another drink? Alan, if you continue to hog the conversation, I may as well go to my cabin. <laughs> Oh, you're on the rare form tonight. It was a wonderful evening. I can't remember when I've had so much fun. Thank you. You're welcome. You think maybe I could come in for a while? Ah, uh, I'm kind of tired. Must be boat leg. <laughs> it must be. Okay, I'll take a rain check. Well, good night, Woody. Ah, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. stay on board today and you can sketch a gorgeous view from my cabin window. <laughs> I really wanted to go to Puerto Vallarta. I hear it's a beautiful city. Would you like to come? Well, I thought you'd never ask. I've got it. The Three Musketeers and Puerto Vallarta. Perfect. <laughs> now, Dad, why don't you go ahead? Three Musketeers is a crowd. Alan. If Alan wants to be a stick in the mud, let him. I'll tell you what. I will lend you a sketch pad, and then you won't have to use the side of somebody's car. <laughs> Do you mind if I go? Of course not. Should I? Conversation. I guess being with Libby's got you all talked out. It's um, Libby I want to talk to you about. Talk? Well, I don't know how to say this. But today, with Libby, 
I felt um, young for the first time in years. You know, I felt... What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make us both look like fools? I'm telling you how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel. What the hell's the matter with you, Dad? That girl's half your age. I had the feeling that she cared, too. You're my father! She's just being nice to you. I'm sorry. No, that's, that's it's okay. It's, uh, there is no fool like an old fool. That adage has been around a lot longer than you have. Dad. Why don't you finish getting dressed? The three of us will have a nice dinner. Now, look, why, why don't you and Libby just have a meal alone? Dad. No, no, please, please. It would make me happy. Tell her that, um, make up some excuse for me. Keep a classy lady waiting. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm sorry I'm late. No problem. Excuse me. Please. Where's your dad? <laughs> I think he overdid it in town today. He said he'd see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tonight's the last night. He's all right. Oh, certainly he's all right. Of course, he's fine. <clears throat> Libby. <laughs> I promise me you won't laugh. But I think my father has a crush on you. friend you are standing there for dinner what well, didn't you see Alan I told him to tell you Woody please don't let Alan come between us hey, I'm twice your age <laughs> that is not you talking that is Alan talking well, he's right he's not right from the first moment I met you I felt something special I think you did, too. And then in town today, <laughs> the most wonderful time I've had in a long time. How about you and Alan? <laughs> Alan? Alan, we're friends. We've dated a couple of times. Anything more than that is just in his imagination.
falling in love. You too. In the future, remind me not to bring my women around you. I wouldn't want to be accused of having a dirty old man for a father. should be sorry. Oh, yeah? I'll bet I'm sorry than you are. <laughs> uh, can I buy you a brandy? You're on. Okay. <laughs> Alan. 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 I don't want to go to your cabin. Oh, that's too bad. Besides, you owe me a rain check. Now, before we go in, let me just... Let me just tell you a little story. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me to school every day. We'd get off the bus on the corner and we'd race to the playground. I'd be ahead and then he'd pass me by. And then just before we got there, I'd grab a hold of his coattails and I'd push on past him. I used to win every morning. So? Well. It wasn't until a few years later that I figured out that my dad was letting me win. Because I felt like a man when I would beat him. That's how I... Maybe that, that's the way that I felt with you. I felt like I was back in a race with my father. Race is over. I don't think anybody won. No, it's not over. Not until somebody crosses that finish line. So, Miss Hall, you were one of the most beautiful ladies on this cruise. Go for it. That is not a thing to say to a lady who's about to be a mother in two weeks. <laughs> well, you're going to be a, a mother in... Yes. Kiss. Yes. 